In the world of the NFL, success is often measured not just in victories, but in how one responds to adversity. For Chad Ryland, the transition from college football stardom to the grand stage of the professional level proved to be a trial by fire. His first year in the league was riddled with challenges, and yet he prevailed. From Maryland to Massachusetts, Chad tells his story of the journey to the NFL. So draft day, um, April 29th, I was at home. It was day three of the draft. I don't want to, in the most humble way, I knew I, knew I was going to get drafted that day. Like I performed well in pre-draft. Um, I earned it. I knew it was coming. So I didn't really want to have a big party. I was just at home in Lebanon County with my mom, my dad, and then um, my best friend, Colin Jones, who I also graduated with here. He was with me. I invited him over just because he's been along for the ride too. And my phone starts to ring and it's, uh, Massachusetts area code and it says Foxborough, Massachusetts. So I was, I was like, wow, like I'm going to the Patriots. And my dad wasn't even downstairs at the time. It was just me and my mom and Colin. My mom's like, well, pick, pick it up, pick it up. So I picked it up um, and it was Coach Belichick's assistant, Bearish, who's a super good dude. He's like, hey, Chad, this is Bearish with the New England Patriots. So I'm gonna put you on with Coach now. And it, just like that, it's like, hey, Chad, how you doing? I'm like, Coach, good, how are you? Um, he's like, good. Like, obviously you're watching the draft, I'm guessing. I'm like, yep, I am. It's like, you're gonna wanna watch the TV here. Uh, we're gonna make a trade up and, and come get you at pick 112. So we're gonna make you a New England Patriot. Happy to have you, we'll see you here soon. And then just like that, hands the phone off to Mr. Kraft, um, the owner. And Mr. Kraft talked to me for a little bit, said how excited he is to, to have me on board and see me develop and, and help the team win. With the 112th pick, in the 2023 NFL Draft, the six-time Super Bowl champion, New England Patriots, select, select, oh Chad Ryland, kicker, Maryland. Yeah, the Maryland Let's kicker. Let's go. All right. All right, Chad, I see you. I think the hardest part of the preparation for the NFL is, for me, I've never done it before. Um, Come from a school in Eastern Michigan where we were in the MAC, a little bit smaller Division I school, to the University of Maryland, which was a Big Ten school. And that was certainly much closer to what the NFL is like, but at the same time, it's completely different um, because everyone in the NFL is the best at what they do, like the best in the world at what they do. It doesn't get better than that. So you have to make sure that you're able to raise not only your physical intensity, but also your emotional and your mental intensity because um, the game's a lot faster, guys are bigger, faster, stronger, and you're rel relied upon a lot more to do your job. I mean, I don't think there's anyone that really helped me prepare me 100% because no one's done it before around here, besides maybe Frank Reich a long time ago, who I've never really spoken to. Um, but my parents have been super supportive. Coach Wildeson, super supportive. He texts me after all the games. Um, all my friends from back here, like the community of Lebanon County in, a ge in general, has been super supportive of me, which means a lot. Because um, sort of when I got out of the social media realm during the season, I would still get texts every week from the same group of 25, 35 people um, that watch the games check in and um, would just really be encouraging to me. I mean, my parents are huge. Because um, it was funny, I was just watching videos on my phone from when I first started kicking. And it's out here at the stadium, kicking towards the scoreboard. And then my dad's putting the ball down, holding it with the wrong hand and leaning the ball out. And we're like still making kicks. Um, my dad's been there the whole ride. My mom's been there the whole ride and they both support me in different ways. Um, my dad never said no to going to the field. Never pushed me to go to the field. But whenever I wanted to go to the field, he would always go, no matter what. The amount of times and balls my dad has shagged for me. Here, Lebanon Valley College, in the net, wherever. Like he's always, always down. Um, to do it, my mom. My mom could care whether we win or lose as long as I'm safe, healthy, and, and doing things the right way, which is a big, a big part of my internal ethics, morals, in terms of how I view what I do. Um, and my dad, my dad believes in that too, but um, I've got two super supportive parents. I think they came to all but one home game. It's fun, I got my family too, my whole extended family that texts me after every game. Everyone's all in. and. It means a lot to a, a young kicker and young athlete in general to have a support system.